Hello guys, welcome to my new changing Pack video. Guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the new Electro Sword 5 Shark character, the DPS, the main DPS on field main DPS character, Chlorine. Chlorine is coming in the patch 4.7. She's going to be the amazing DPS on the field using pistol and the sword. So in this video, we're going to talk about the top 5 5 Shark DPS weapon that are in the game and you can use it on her to get maximum out of her. We're gonna talk about it in detail, so stay tuned till the end. Quickly talking about her gameplay, her gameplay is based on the normal attack, elemental skill and elemental burst damage. Maximum damage she's gonna deal, she's gonna deal with the normal attacks and the elemental skill, but her elemental burst also deals a massive amount of damage. But on the field, maximum time you're gonna deal damage with the elemental skill and the normal attacks. Okay, on number 5 we have the Skyward Blade. I think this weapon is so good that you can use this weapon on any character. But I didn't find a, another weapon that we can use it on her. This is a pretty old uh, old weapon and usable on any character. This weapon provides you 600 and base attack, 55.1% energy recharge. In the refinement, this one gives you 4% crit rate, 10% attack movement speed, uh, 10% journal movement speed and at that AOE damage when you perform normal or charge attack. This weapon is not the best, not the worst, a decent a decent weapon. If you have this weapon and you don't want to spend any uh, money on the other 5 star weapon, you can give it to her. She's gonna be amazing. Not the best, but yeah, you can enjoy her. So on number 5, we have the Skyward Blade. On number 5, we have the Primordial Jade Cutter. Primordial Jade Cutter is also a very good weapon. I use this weapon on the Furina. I don't know how she. this weapon is going to be on the Chlorine. But in my opinion, this weapon is going to be very, very good because this weapon is providing you 44% crit rate and 542 base attack. That is huge for a sword. Like 44% crit rate is very, very huge. And additionally, the refinement ability is also very good. HP is increased by 20% additionally provide a, provides an attack bonus based on 1.2% of the wielder's max HP. We already know what's going on with the Colorin there. In that case, I think this little refinement ability is gonna be beneficial for her in any, in any way. Like, yes. So on number 4 guys, we have the Primordial Shade Cutter. I think this weapon is gonna be a blast on her. Because there's not much 5 star sword in the game that you can use it on her. So that's why I'm putting this weapon on number 4. So yes, you can use it on her. But this weapon is not the best weapon for her. But yes, it's usable and it's one of the weapon that gonna be good on her. So on number 4 guys, Primordial Jade Cutter. Okay guys, so on the number 3, we uh, I have two weapons in mind for the number 3 position. One is the... El Hadam signature weapon and second is the Uraku Misugiri. So guys, I'm not talk gonna talk about the El Hadam signature weapon, but if you have the El Hadam weapon, that weapon is also good weapon. You can use it on her because that weapon is also based on the normal attacks, but that weapons work around the elemental mastery. Uh, if you have like similar functioning to that with your Chlorinde, because Chlorinde is also based on the overlord elemental reaction and for that you need a some amount of elemental mastery so on number three guys uh El Hatham signature weapon but what weapon i'm gonna talk about in this video is the uraku misugiri uraku misugiri is also a very good weapon both weapons provide similar amount of crit damage first of all El Hatham and this weapon so this weapons provide you base attack of 542 but a massive amount of 88 0.2% crit damage that's so so high so high and in the refinement this weapon provides you normal attack damage is increased by 16% and elemental skill damage is increased by 24% if we just read this line of the uh, refinement rank this is very beneficial to Chlorinda because I just told you Chlorinda is based on the normal attack and the elemental skill dealing very high damage and this weapon refinement rank in giving increased damage to both a normal attack and the elemental skill after a nearby active character deals geo, ja geo damage and aforementioned effect is increased by 100% for 15 seconds additionally the wielder's defense is increased by 
the last line is just useless for chlorine by the second line you can trigger the second line effect if you use any geo character with your chlorine like using zhongli you can use zhongli uh, with your chlorine for the extra shield protection you just you can just use the elemental burst of zhongli or you can just uh, put a shield on your chlorine there and that will deal a uh, geo damage to the nearby character and you can get this effect to the max but guys it's a very situational weapon uh, but i didn't have really have a choice for the number three because as just uh, i just told you there's not much weapon in the game that are you know good with the kit of chlorine there but on number three the al Adam signature weapon and this uraku misugiri is going to be very very good both weapons provide a massive amount of crit damage and providing normal attack and elemental skill damage bonuses this things these things alone is enough for the chlorine you don't have to get the full uh refinement skill to work on her this little things is just you know perfect for her so on number three guys either the ally atom signature weapon or the uraku misugiri ayato signature weapon i don't have the ayato signature weapon that but that weapon is kind of cool on number two guys we have the haran Gepap, gepaku futsu we have the Haran, let's call it Haran. Base attack, 688, crit rate 33.1%. That is huge. And base leg is also very high, 608. But what interests me is the, again, refinement abilities. So good that it just matches perfectly with the Chlorine. Like, fact, no errors, no faults there. Obtain 12% of all elemental damage bonus when the other nearby party member uses Elemental skill, the character equipping this correct weapon will gain one wave spike stack. Max two stacks can be obtained this way. This effect can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds. When the character equipping this weapon uses ele elemental skill, all the stack of wave spike will be consumed to gain rippling um he will each stack of wave spike consumed will be increased normal attack damage by 20%. In short, guys, first of all, this weapon is giving you extra 12% electro damage bonus. Okay. Then this weapon is giving you extra 40% normal attack damage bonus. Yes, this weapon is giving you extra normal attack damage bonus by 20% and giving you extra 12% electro damage bonus. As simple as that. This is the refinement skill. So, guys, yes, normal attack is good. And getting a 12% extra elemental damage bonus is very very good. He, alongside you getting 608 base attack, 33.1% crit damage. Yes, this weapon is gonna be blast on the chlorine. So on number two, guys, we have the Haran Gepaku. And on the number one, guys, we all know the signature weapon of chlorine. It's called Absolution. Absolution, this weapon gives you 674.33 base attack. 674 base attack, that's the highest sword, base attack for the sword, I think. Yeah, it's the same uh, we got with the Mist Splitter Reforge. It's fine. It's literally very high. And you're also getting 44.1% crit damage. But that is lesser if you compare with the al Hadam weapon and the Uraku Mix Misugiri weapon. I just told you that Biraku, Uraku Misugiri and El Adam weapon, they both give you more than 80% of crit damage. That's why, I, that's why I just told you that those weapons are very, very good in terms of providing raw power to your DPS character. But signature weapon of Chlorine giving you 44.1% crit damage. But wait a minute guys, wait a minute. You're also getting extra 20% crit damage in the refinement rank. Yes, I don't know why they included 20%. Here, not in the substrate of the weapon. I like, and you can actually increase this 20% crit damage if you get this weapon to R5. You can get extra 20%. Like, this weapon on R5 will give you 40% crit damage increase in the refinement rank. That is insane. Then you can actually equalize the crit damage to the El Hadam weapon and the Uraku Misugiri then you can get you can get actually higher than the 80% crit damage compared to the Uraku Misugiri and the El Hadam signature weapon 
So these are the weapon for the Chlorine Day. I can recall the list for you. On number 5 we have the Skyward Blade. On number 4 we have the Primordial Jade Cutter. On number 3 we have the El Hadar Hadum weapon, signature weapon or the Ura Ku Misugiri weapon. And on number 2 we have the Harangepaku Futsu. And on number 1 we have the Absol Absolution, the signature weapon for Chlorine Day. That's it for the video guys, if you think I said something wrong in this video, you can absolutely correct me in the comment, no problem. If you like the video, you can hit the like button, if you have any question related to any Jinshin character, any Jinshin thing, you can comment below. And guys, like the video, share this video with a friend, subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the another Jinshin Impact video. Till then, bye bye, take care.